Vice round, it could be a Roman coin, you know. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can see silver in there. What we got? All right, guys, out on this stubble field. Had a few Romans in the past off here, if you've uh, followed my previous videos. It's um, it's a dry day, not expecting any rain, but we have had some rain. As you can see, the ground's quite sticky. There is a bit of wind, so I'll do my best to try and shield the camera, you know, prevent the wind noise. Um, probably got about three hours, maybe. So, anyway, I'm going to crack on. There's me uh, first signal. That is pretty shallow. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's just a bit of aluminium, I think. It's just a broken rivet. Okay, this was a deep target, probably nine inches plus. Is uh, I reckon that's a lead weight, probably Roman. I was unsure. It was one of those um, quiet, really quiet, squeaky signals. I thought, well, take a chance. I mean, it could have even been a bit of iron at that depth. There we go. Lead weight. Let's have a look what we got. Where is it? Just a bit of lead. Hmm. A few bits of lead coming up today. Nice to uh, get a few Roman coins. I ain't got a great deal of time. Bit squeaky. Probably, uh, a bit of depth to that one. Right, let's uh, take another scoop out. Sounds loads better. Hopefully, the finds to match. Oh, I see something there. I think I'm going to jump the gun, but it could be a Roman. It is. I'm going to have some detail on this one. Mm, it's hard to tell. You can see some of the writing. Might clean up alright. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a wind blowing at the moment. Yeah, I can't see anything on there at the moment. Do a bit of lettering, 
but sometimes when these are when they've had a wash yeah they come out really well I can yeah there's a bit more there oh that's good you can see the mint mark there I think that's the mint mark Brilliant. There we go. Your first Roman coiner today. Been going about probably half hour. Good job. What do we got? See something there. It's made of bronze. Hmm. Not sure what it's uh, from though. Could be a rim of something. Don't know. What a lovely signal. Shallow. I guess. No, I can't. <laughs> I thought I could see something then. Ah, and there's a pin probe. Looks round. What have we got? Button or a coin? Or neither? Ooh. I don't know. An old rivet. To be honest, I don't really know. It doesn't look like anything special. It's a rivet, I reckon. Hmm, don't know. Doesn't sound like very. It's got a definite sort of good tone, but there's also a little bit mixed in with it. Right, it's uh, a bit more out. That sounds loads better. Oh, it's the button, I think. I can see it. I thought I could see it. Yeah, just there. Still a good, good signal. I mean... I've been around this area loads and you know obviously these are signals I've missed so there's going to be more stuff in here and that wasn't quiet bit of a mystery target again iron there something there bit of iron there probably I, I, my best guess is it's a bit of lead, but because it's between the iron, it could be messing the signal up a bit. So, 
as always, best way to find out. Dig it out. Listen to that now. That'd be great if it was a Roman coin. Oh, it's round. It could be a Roman coin, you know. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. Is that Romulus and Remus? Oh, get in. Get in there. And that was amongst the iron. What a find. I've got it upside down. <laughs> but it is still Romulus and Remus. There's a wolf. And there's a... You see the wolf there? Just try and get some of that surface dirt off of it. There's the wolf and you can see the children underneath Romulus and Remus. That is brilliant. I've had uh, three of these off this field now. Does that say Roma underneath there? Underneath the children? Neat. There's the Emperor. That'll clean up nice, that will. And that signal, I mean, amongst the iron, it's just, you know, you just got to dig them out. And that's the easiest way. So what if it was a bit of lead or a, or a, a bit of aluminium, you know? You find out, well, what do you do? It goes in the scrap pile. If you ignore it, you're going to miss things like this. Absolutely love it. It's a nice bright signal there. I'd just be able to see it. What's that? It's like a button. That'll be it. And a little button. Another real soft target there. Bit of an iron. Probably quite deep. I mean, obviously, the coins, when they go deep, these Roman coins, they, they really are. Mm. Let's try that. That's out. Oh, listen to that. It's a belter. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can see silver in there. What we got? It is. 
See the milled edge? It's pretty worn out. Victoria. Young Victoria. That's a sixpence. Well, well, well. <laughs> Very, very worn out. Sixpence. Happy with that. Can't see a date anywhere on there. Hmm. No. It's really suffered that one. Brilliant. Again, you know, I've been over this ground. You just got to get the coil over it and just pick it up. When, you know, if you get the signal, I mean, it could be somebody could go over an area like, well, like I've been over here and it could have been between the coil sweeps. I do try and walk a bit slower nowadays, but I'm not saying I'm getting old. But, um, yeah, just walk a bit slower, cover uh, more of the ground with the coil. Brilliant. That's pretty shallow. I wonder if... It's on the probe. See the green edge or something there? Have we got a coin or have we got a button? Button. I can feel the uh, feel a bit on my finger. Ah oh, well. It's another shallow signal. Sounds nice and bright as well. Whatever that is. Hmm. Well, it looks you made of lead. I think it's made of lead, I don't know. I don't think it is lead. It's got an unusual pattern on the one side of it. Mm, don't think that's just some random occurrence. Might make a bit more sense when I uh, clean it up. I just dug this up. It's a uh, copper looking ring. I think it's, I don't know what it is, but anyway, listen to this signal. There must be iron in there somewhere. It doesn't look like there's any iron. Can't get that. Get that mud out. To me, it just looks like it's made of bronze, but that's well weird. Oh, well, I'll have a better look at that when I get home. Maybe there's a bit of iron in that inner part. I don't even know what it's from.
That's another good sounding signal. Something like that. I reckon that's a coin. Yep. Completely worn out. They're getting harder to find. I have had a fair few off this field. Uh, I imagine there's plenty in here, but they're probably just out of the depth of the um, machine. Just to give it a good deep plough on here. Uh, there'd be loads, loads again. Uh, don't think it's going to be ploughed again this year. Now I'll uh, keep wandering around for another hour or so. See if I can uh, whittle out any more. Very, very shallow. Right, it might even be that there. I think it is. Impacted bullet. Have a look. I don't think it's going to be very deep. A couple of inches by the sound of that signal. In fact, I see something there. I think it's a shotty, but here's a shotty. Oh well. Right there. A bit jumpy signal. Temperature's starting to drop now. Sun's getting a bit low in the sky. Oh, I see something green there actually. <laughs> Missed it before. If I can focus in on it. It's because the light's fading. Have we got a coin? Or have we got a button? I think that's going to be a coin. A bit of detail there. Not a lot though. It may be. 
I get something. There's a little something there. Swipe that side. But not a lot. See some of the writing. Still pretty cool though. Okay, just got a uh, another Roman. Broken, silver washed by the look of it as well. Bit of detail. Still here, just got to keep looking for him. Slowly detecting my way back to the car now, so. See what else I can pick up on the way back. If not, I'll see you at the roundup. Now, not too bad with the finds. Uh, I had uh, five Roman coins. This one's my favourite of them. That's the Romulus and Remus. You can see the two children there underneath the wolf. The mint mark is Roma. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. There's the bust, it's pretty good. Might be able to clean it a little bit more. There's only so far you can go with these coins. It isn't, you know, you've got to be a bit really careful about it as well. This one, again, it might improve. You can see, if you get it in the right light, you can see uh, the emperor quite well. You can see some of the facial details. See all the writing around the outside. Again on that side, pretty much the same. This one I thought was silver wash, but I reckon it might actually be debased silver. I think there's some really good detail still on the coin, despite it being broken. See the eyes, some of the facial features, beard, obviously the radiant crown. Soldier on that side. Yeah, don't know if I'll be able to do anything else with that one. He's, he's alright as he is. Had this one, silver sixpence, pretty worn. Always nice digging a bit of silver. Very minimal detail on that side. I ain't going to get a date off that one, I don't think. So it's going to be 1800s. Had this item which again I didn't know what it was and now I've cleaned it up I still don't know what it is but there's a little pattern there, I don't know if that's just random a little weight and this is a strange ring shaped object I mean it could just be an olive but why it was given an iron signal I don't know Very strange. Anyway, we'll try and get back out again soon. Get back on a Roman field. Um, yeah, so look out for that video. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you all again.